things float in different liquids, scientists use an instrument called a hydrometer. Let's make one and see what floats and what sinks. For this experiment, you will need a straw, scissors, modeling clay, tap water, salt water, a pencil or pen, a ruler, and a clear cup. Start off by cutting two and a half inches off a straw and push a small blob of modeling clay into the end. So that's two and a half. Wait, that's one, two and a half. We are just pushing a small blob of modeling clay onto the end of the straw, like this. So. Use a pencil to mark a line on the straw at every one fourth inch. Okay, so this is for measuring purposes. So this is one fourth of an inch. This is another, another, another. I'm, I'm gonna do like two inches in total. Okay. This is two inches total, but we've marked every one quarter of an inch. Well, yeah. Fill the cup with water, which we have already done. Now, try flooding your hydrometer in the water. Watch what happens. Okay, so now record your results. So in fresh water, it goes up to one inch. One inch. You can, um, use salt water now for the other part of the experiment. And you can test how salty the water is by placing an egg in the water and testing to see if it floats. If the egg floats, then that means the water is salty enough. We did this in another experiment. Okay, so now let's take the hydrometer and place it in the salt water. Wow, it's floating. Remember to record your results. Okay, so in salt water, our hydrometer um, was floating at 0.75 of an inch. So three quarters of an inch. So I'm just gonna turn this around so that you guys can see right here. So see how it's to the third line? Salty water is heavier than ordinary water. So it pushes harder against objects floating in it. To float in salty water, objects need to displace less water than they do in ordinary water. So the hydrometer floats higher in salty water. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe.